Dixie Dave from SoCal Classic Car Storage. Just wanted to share with you this incredibly well built 1969 Camaro that my customer had commissioned. Very creative and just a fabulous job of fabricating this beautiful car. Now, there's some things that you might notice right away. Look at the clip on the front end. That's not a 69 Camaro, right? And you're looking at this one, why would somebody do this? Actually, my customer really has a creative touch and wanted to put a more modern Camaro front end in there. I think this is about a 2013, 2014 front end. But check this out, this is all done in metal. There's no fiberglass in any of this work. This stuff is all hand done. You'll see the inlet for an LS9. That's a uh, Corvette LS9 supercharged in there with a little peekaboo window. The story is, to get this put in here, seven or eight years ago, they had to get it approved by the Corvette manufacturer. Hey, take a look at the side of this Camaro. One of the things you'll notice are these monster 345 sticking out the back. Zoom in here, check this out too, right? What do you see? No brakes in here. Pretty trick, right? The Jaguar rear end is sitting in the middle and the brakes are inside. So you got all this beautiful wheel looking at you without brakes. You can see that this fender has obviously been brought out by three, three and a half inches, but really nicely done to make this a wide body. Uh, but love the lines, it's not been heavily modified on the side, so when you pan out and look at this car, you say, hey, that looks like a 69 Camaro. This is where things got interesting. My client, really, just a very creative touch with this, wanted to do a takeoff on some of the exotic cars like the Ferrari or the Lamborghini. Take a look at the work that was necessary to create this downward, um, uh, almost splitter on the back of this car. Sticks out about six inches, integrated into the trunk again. Surprisingly, no fiberglass. Really hard to believe, right, that this is all hand-formed metal. Hey, so take a look at the workmanship done on the inside of this car. This is just absolutely great. We love the uh, big gauges that, you know, they're not digital, so we love the analog approach here. Budnick steering wheel, electronic wheel. Wheel. Love the stitching in these bucket seats. Outstanding. Uh, not a high back seat, so no, but take a look at this integrated roll cage. Wonderfully done, so you've got plenty of egress here in and out, not in your way, uh, but absolutely necessary, primarily for frame stiffening. The old saying of heartbeat of America, that's what you know, the Chevy's saying. Just a beautiful implementation of a, just a, everybody's favorite Corvette motor, pumping out about 650 to 700 horsepower. 